Hey everybody, Tim here. Today's episode of Titan, Season 2, Episode 2, Rose. I'm super excited because as of this episode, I'm officially caught up with the series because Episode 3 comes out tomorrow, so now I can actually start doing them as they come out. So that's kind of perfect timing. I get this episode today, and then tomorrow you guys can see the review for next episode. Um, overall, initial reaction, this was a really good episode. This is the episode that I wanted season two to start with. Like, this should have been the premiere, and the actual premiere should have been uh, the finale and actually, like, spaced out some more. Like, I feel like Trigon should have been in several more episodes, and I'm assuming we will see his return. <clears throat> So for this one, it's three months later. So, I mean, that's kind of like the summer break. If this was like a standard 26 episode show, that's usually a thing. Um, I was totally off the mark with the one condition, although I guess they haven't still mentioned it, for being where Bruce told Dick that he, he'll he like set him up for this new Titans program under one condition. And like, I forgot I, what I even mentioned in the last review. Um, but I was like, I assume it's gonna be like Nightwing or come up with your own person or something like that. But now it's made more clear that he just wants Dick to babysit Jason because Jason's not ready yet. And realistically, like, I thought Jason was just along with the team anyway. Like, I just thought that was going to be part of the team. I didn't know that he was only going because Bruce asked Dick to take him. So I think that was kind of weird. Um, Aqualad gets name dropped in this one, which is kind of interesting. I'm kind of curious to see who it will be and if he'll make an appearance. <clears throat> Um, they bring up the thing about, like, if I'm Robin, who are you? Because Dick tells Jason, like, oh, you're Robin. So he's like, so who are you then? Which is kind of more of that teasing of Nightwing. At some point, I'm sure he's going to come out. But still, like, they're, they're really kind of dragging it out a little bit. <clears throat> Um, the whole jailbreak scene, I did not know who that was. Like, clearly it's somebody that has to do with electrical stuff. They do name him later in the episode, um, that I'll get, it's Dr. Light. But no idea who this villain is. I've never, like, I'm not super familiar with a lot of the DC characters. Like, I can probably hold my own with, like, a Batman conversation, Superman, stuff like that. But, like, this guy, I don't know him. Um, Hank and Don like own their own farm doing great with um, the like being clean of drugs and stuff so I really like that kind of showing how they're like maturing through life <clears throat> Same for Corey and Donna. Like, I didn't see those two teaming up, even from the last season. But it was kind of interesting to see them two working together for the FBI. Uh, we meet um, a girl who has, like, an eye patch going on. This is, of course, going to be Rose Wilson, uh, Deathstroke's daughter. So, And I know a little bit about her, but not a whole lot. Like, I think she's one of those, like, sometimes she's good, sometimes she's bad. Um, but she basically is going to follow in Deathstroke, Slade Wilson's footsteps. So I think it's interesting. Um, and basically we just see her tearing up the town. Um, we get some more uh, on, let's see, who is it? And Dick finally finds her after she does this crazy jump off the roof. Uh, we get a little bit more about Dr. Light and just uh, the, the light bomb was actually a pretty cool little feature with attacking... Uh, who was it? Don and Hank, which was fucked up. But it was kind of, it was an interesting little thing. So I'm learning more about his powers as we're going on. Um, the whole Shimmers thing was just kind of a joke to me. I didn't really get it. But it was kind of cool to see uh, another member of Corey's race. Which, by the way, I liked how Roy Harper was the guy that called that Donna's phone call she went to take. That was a cool little shout out uh, to Speedy, um, the Green Arrows sidekick. <clears throat> So anyways, um, I noticed that he called Corey your highness, and either I didn't know that or I forgot that she is some sort of royalty. So it'll be interesting to kind of see where that goes. I'm assuming she's probably like a princess or something. Um, <clears throat> seeing Rose kind of go back and forth, and then they do the same light bomb on Dick and Rose in the car. And then, of course, it ends with the big reveal that, oh, this is Rose Wilson, Slade Wilson's daughter. Um, so, like, overall, this was a good episode. Like, it introduces a lot of characters. Like, it's really setting up season two, which is what a premiere should be, even though this is the second episode. So, for those who have seen this one, like, what scenes stood out to you guys? What new characters did you like? What are you thinking about some of the returning characters? Um, and what are you guys expecting for the team to kind of come together? Go ahead, let me know what you guys think about it so far, and I will see you guys next time for episode 3, Ghosts.